Okay, so there's this one that says when school criminals realize they've been arrested. And look at this fake ass blood. It's the one above my head. Let's do it. Let's Anthony do it. drove a school bus into a house while dropping off 40 kids. But I'm only seven. And he knew he was completely done for. Can I? Oh my God. Oh. Oh. But earlier that day, there was another kid in the school who had an incident where she thought she was completely untouchable. Stand Don't up. touch me. Stand up. Do not touch me. Then quickly realized she was very, very wrong. Out. Go. Oh, now you want to touch me? I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> Don't give me any Jesus Christ. Hello. What's <laughs> going on? Well, I was told I'm a big handcuff. Okay. My God. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, one, come on out here and talk to me for a second. Well, about what? I can talk to you right here. No, no, no. Come on out here and talk to me. Yeah, so we can, we can discuss what's going on. No, no, no. Right out here. Oh, she's not even dressed properly. Here, come here. After being reported for disrupting the cafeteria, the young girl stood up only to sit back down, something okay. she'd soon regret. <laughs> See, now you're this testing is, me. This is, this, is, this is a loaded video. This is a loaded video right now. I, I feel it, chat. It's already loaded. Well, come on outside and talk to me, and I won't have to lay a hand on you. You, you got it? You, you're on video right now, I'm and right now you're disrupting everything that's going on right now. Do you hear me? Yeah. I don't want you to get in any trouble. Okay, but I'm already getting in trouble, so why don't I just enjoy my friends? No, you can't do that because they're not. Because right now you're creating a disruption. You've got him here. We got her here. Okay. So this is a student. Come on, come on out here. She stood up yet again. Only to immediately sit back down, taking advantage of the just nice Just comply and get it over and with? Well, I mean, obviously. Like, that's just common sense. Though she was not as bad though. as the next kid who cursed at every second. Let me go! She would I'm only seven! A much greater punishment. Stand up. No, stand don't up. touch me. Stand up. Do not touch me. Stand up. Don't touch everybody me. Everybody out. Get everybody out. No. Get these guys out of here. No. Do you like ICP? Yeah, how do magnets work, man? Go. Oh, now you want to touch? Go. I'm not going to hurt you. Jesus. Don't give me any shit. Now give me your hand. My shirt is coming off. What the hell is going on with you guys? Huh? What is going on with you guys? Is this what I got to do every day now? No. No, me off. You're hurting me. Well, then you probably should have thought about that before you decided to be stupid. Roll over. Stand up. Them chick got body slam? Yeah. Let's go. Ow! Stop hurting me! Did you just throw my phone? No, that's your phone right there. Why'd you throw it? Now shut your mouth Why'd and relax. You throw it? The student was a huge nuisance who riled up the nice cop and deserved to get arrested. But I'm so confused what she did. They just said that she's disruptive. I don't know. Like, we didn't really get much. Tried to guilt the cop for arresting her. Trying to be helpful to you, but you had to go and do that, and this is where we're at. Okay, no, but that was abusive. Well, guess what? You shouldn't have stood up and came at me because that's why you ended up on the ground. Oh, that you happened. Everything on video. I you might not have realized what you were doing. You don't resist me. When I put my hands on you, it's for a reason. There ain't no reason for you to sit there and try to pull away and resist me. That's why you ended up on the ground. Yeah, I feel like every person ever should just not resist a cop, even if, like, they're completely in the wrong, because, you know, you never know what's going to happen. Nice cop body slammed a girl. Yeah, I think the cop w got a little bit extreme, I'd say. I mean, I don't really know the situation, but at the end of the day, like, bro just body slammed a, a girl. I got scammed? How'd you get scammed? From subbing to me? Impossible. Well, you probably should have listened to what I had to say. And I was trying to be nice to you, but you didn't. This cop wasn't falling for her tricks, and she was let go after a disciplinary meeting with her parents. But the next kid's behavior was even more shocking Shut up, as didn't he was play? barely nine years old. Jeez! Yes. Those five words came from a nine-year-old who wanted to go home before school had barely started. And to prove just how serious he was, 
he would assault the officers. That's brutal! Oh my god! How did they survive that? How did they survive? A nine-year-old threw a piece of paper at him? That is horrendous. Lock him up. Lock him up. Throw away the key. That's horrible. Shots fired. Shots fired. That's basically an acorn. That's an acorn. Stuff though, right? That's okay. I man down, man down. I've been hit. I've been hit. He's been the hit. The kid had a terrible aim as there wasn't much the officer or staff could do, for now at least, except damage control. Dude, where is this kid's parents? Call the kid's parents, bro. Where are his parents? Is this like a like a like a place for bad kids? You know what? I just realized it is probably a place for bad kids if they have pads like that. Kid's sketchy, yeah, definitely. Although it seemed like a mild issue, this kid was wild. And while things looked infinitely worse for the, the adults in the next of case, Dragon Ball just died. I didn't say anything. <clears throat> so you come down. Pig, go do your chores. Shut the fuck up. He can do that because he's on the road. Just calm me down. Stop it. Wrong. Pig, you will not be burning that costume, and that is an order. If you've already got the hair for it, that's sacrilegious. May as well burn your hair too. Yes, that's true. It is. You know, but this this is the main reason. This this could be the reason he died. Dude, what? Like, where are this kid's parents? I don't get it. Jesus. With the kid in cuffs, it was time to calm him down. But you already have a perfect idea of how that went. You're throwing things. This is what my brother's like. It's so bad. I genuinely don't understand how kids get like this. Like this, you know, nature versus nurture. But like, I don't think nature can cause you to just be this fucking horrible. You know what I mean? I mean, I get it. It's, it's to some extent, it could definitely make you more, you know, annoying to deal with. But I don't know. I feel like if you nurture a child correctly, this this is a child on Fortnite. This is a this is an iPad kid. Hundred percent. You know, in another situation, you would be in very big trouble. For Bad parents. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just letting you know, the older you get, it's going to be very harder for you to be making these behaviors. With no progress, the kid was released Mitchell. and taken to Stop the guidance counselor. Oh. But to ruin the somewhat oh. happy ending, the parents of the nine-year-old eventually sued the police and the city for using unnecessary and unreasonable force. But it was going to be hard for the next parent to sue the officers. I mean, like, I don't know. It is kind of goofy to handcuff the kid. Like, he's nine years old. Like, I mean, I get it. Like, he was kicking and whining and screaming. But, like, he's nine years old. And, and this dude's a, a, a grown man who is a cop. That he really needed to cuff him? You know? I don't know. <laughs> With no progress, the kid was released and taken to the guidance counselor. Thank you, everyone, for subbing. What? Counselor. But to ruin the somewhat happy ending, the parents of the nine-year-old eventually sued the police and. I request a Dazai costume. I'll save that for another time. In the city for using unnecessary and unreasonable force. 
But it was going to be hard for the next parent to sue the officers because her daughter was trespassing in the school. Guys, stop! Stop! I don't, I don't stop. care! I don't care! Thank you so much for the bits. Ah! No! Stop! Stop! Nope. Okay, where are you trying to get her to? Will, I, I want her in Lippa's office. At this point now, she needs to go to the front office. That's right. Jasmine wanted to get into school while suspended. A strange request, but the officer wasn't having it. Thank you so much, Eclipse. <sighs> already said, all right, they've already said you're suspended, so if you go in that building, I'm going to put you in up. Oh, they're literally on me right now. That's a up. All right, no. Get the off me, bro. Get off me. Stop. Stop. Get the off me. Stop. Get the off, off of me. No, I don't care. Oh. Oh my Guys, you're not going to be able to see the video. You're not going to see the video. Guys! Stop! I don't care. I don't. Hey, Paige, if you're gonna burn the Vegeta costume, can you stream it as a vigil to Toriyama? Also, if the kid is kicking and throwing shit, handcuffing him to stop the throwing is not on me. Yeah, I think so. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll be honest. I think uh, handcuffing a nine-year-old in any case is like unnecessary. Like, it, shut up, bitch! Oh my God! Oh my God. I, like, oh my God. I really do. Like, I mean, they're a nine-year-old. Like, if you can't restrain a nine-year-old without the use of handcuffs, like, then you're not a cop. Like, you're a grown adult who is trained to deal with adult adults, right? So when you can't handle a child on your own, that sounds like a you problem. Now, don't get me wrong. If the child starts, like, biting and shit, like, you know, that might be a little bit different, right? But, I mean, all I'll do is, is kicking and screaming like any child fucking does. Like, I mean, I don't know. Oh, I all right, wrong get on your now. stomach. Get the fuck off of me. I'm ignoring everything. Stomach. I didn't see any of that. Get on your stomach. He needs to get off of me. He's get on your, your stomach. Get the Thank you, though. off of me. <laughs> So why? So why are the cops called on her though? I I genuinely don't know if I missed it. Let me see this again. Her daughter was trespassing in the school. We've fallen to chaos. Wait, she's just she's suspended and trespassing. That warrants calling the cops? Be hard for the next parent to sue the officers because her daughter was trespassing in the school. I mean, legally, she's wrong. Hey, give me the f off the f***ing ground! My mom is calling me f off of me, bruh! You're f***ing weird! Get the f*** off of me! Keep in mind that Jasmine is suspended from school. So not only did she validate her suspension by fighting with a cop in front of staff, but she also gave them reasons to permanently expel her. Y'all are so yeah. unnecessary. Y'all are all in my f***ing I mean, a situations like this, it's like, what's their home life like? You know what I mean? That's what I always think about, is when I see teenagers and kids like this, I have to sympathize because, like, their home life could be absolute garbage. Now, that one video of that, like, 18-year-old girl, like, she's an adult. That's no excuse. But, like, these kids are young, right? I feel like you always need to take this shit with a grain of salt because you don't know their home life. Spoiled assholes, most likely. But it might not be. It might just be them projecting because they don't get attention at home. Spoiled as fuck. But that's the thing. It, they might not be. It could literally be the complete opposite. She might want to go to school because she's too. She doesn't want to go home. You know, like what? What if? What if they act? Do you guys know that a lot of kids act out because their home life sucks? 
because they get abused at home. You guys realize that, right? Like, just because a kid is acting out and being awful and, you know, attention grabby and shit and, like, fighting a cop, that doesn't mean they're spoiled. I mean, it, it might. Like, don't get me wrong. There might be situations where they're spoiled. But I feel like 99% of the time, it's because they have a shitty home life. They're treated like shit. So then they act out at school in order to get attention. You know? Like, that's, I don't know. I don't think that's being spoiled. But there are situations where kids are spoiled. Don't get me wrong, but. That was unnecessary as f I was walking the f lunch. Now I have to put me on the f ground, bitch. That's the I got one to say. If that's true, she wouldn't be suspended? Did you hear anything I said? Why are you doing that? I don't know. Okay, to be fair, that that he it might they might have said that before I started cooking, but like, huh? You guys know that children who have terrible home lives get suspended all the fucking time. <laughs> that is a regular occurrence for kids who have terrible home lives. Is they get suspended all the time. They they dip school. They literally drop out of school. Like that is so common. I mean, I live in an area where that happened all the time. The 16-year-old was now cuffed, but there was still more to the drama. Shortly after, her mother arrived at the school, and something strange was noticeable. Let's off and leave with your mom, or do you want him to go with you? You want to take it? What about your neck? Did they take it off? Yeah, they're gonna make you take all that off. I'll give it to mom. You want got some inklets? I can't take off anything. Okay, I got you. You're not gonna fall. Is that it? Yeah, that one can't come off. Good dollar in there. Okay, fair enough. Just gonna make sure you don't have anything in your pockets, okay? I think there's a mint in there. A mint? There's two of them. A what? Right. A mint. Like a tic-tac or a mint? Jasmine's demeanor suddenly changed and the soft-spoken student was charged with battery on a law enforcement officer. You guys find that interesting how her tone completely changed in front of her mother? You guys notice that? Notice how her demeanor completely changed in front of her mother? I wonder why. I could, I could, I don't know. I can't imagine why her demeanor would change suddenly changed and the soft-spoken student was charged with battery on a law enforcement officer but there was nothing soft-spoken about this next student suspected of bringing marijuana into a school you have ah! marijuana coming from your bag my bag yes i can smell it right here strong that is reasonable suspicion okay so here oh you let, let it go I mean, Black Mama, what do you know? What is chat on today? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Bruh. I, I can't. As is can't. the theme of this video, Demarcus refused a search of his bag and a very fierce struggle began. Just check it, okay? <laughs> Yo, fix your camera. What is this shit? Stop fighting him. Just calm down, baby. Calm down. Okay. Fighting lady, please. I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like he was resisting, but it wasn't like doing anything crazy. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Oh.
Let me go. You can't bite my arm. Damn, tell me that shit. Get the fuck off me. Okay, now, alright. Okay. Damn. Not sweet. He's just walking on the ceiling? True. Nothing bad? Why resisting? Okay, this is. What year is this? Okay, this is 2021. He's got weed in his bag. This is really bad. Like, 2021? And bro's got weed in his bag? And he's dealing with the cop? He's black? Yeah. Like, I, yeah, I, I'd, I'd be a little bit agitated and stressed as well. And he's under 18. Yeah, like, uh, that's a scary situation for him. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I don't think he should be attacking the cop or uh, resisting arrest. But yeah, that's a scary, scary situation. Up front to call for another unit for me. Yeah, Stop! You're not gonna kick me. Kid must be terrified, no. though. Yeah. Stay just like this. Demarcus was clearly too hot-headed for the cop. I mean, I feel like I feel like the cop is handling it decently. He's not like being too much. I don't know. I feel like he's doing as much as necessary, and he's not, you know, yelling at the kid. He's not like. Treating him like trash or anything. He's like respect, respectfully like being like, bro, calm down. Cop. So another officer arrived and they took him into the squad car. From the struggle, it was likely that the student had a huge stash of marijuana in his bag. But a oh, search no. would leave the officers and staff in complete shock. He doesn't have weed, does he? He doesn't have weed. There's no way. So where did you smell the weed, copper? Where'd you smell the weed? Is there, wait, is, is there more than weed? Or I'm confused. Smelling his own fart. That's what I'm saying. There's either nothing or it's worse. Okay, if there's nothing in there, I take everything I said about the cop back. Sure. Why not just let the cop search then? I mean, like, he's young. He's black. And there's a cop. Bro got scared. Like, it's as simple as that. He's just scared. <clears throat> yeah, cops are scary. But that's it's as simple as that. Like, that's why there's so many instances of, like, people fighting back. It's, it, it's literally fight or flight. That's all it is, you know? Some people got the fight, and some people just got, you know, some people don't think logically in those situations. They just panic. I feel like that's what he did. I mean, that is true, though. Like, also, the fact that the cop uh, told him that he could check his bag, and the kid's got nothing in the bag, and then the kid says no, the cop proceeds to just, you know, shove him down and arrest him. So, yeah. The officer checked the bag, and there was no stash of marijuana. This was very confusing, considering the terrifyingly long struggle and the obvious smell of marijuana. Yeah, I can even smell it big time. Oh, yeah, right. We were asking him just to go into the office, and they were going to do the search. And he kept saying, no, I need to go to the bathroom. I need to go to the bathroom. I need to go to the bathroom. It's, it's, it's awning somewhere. You can smell it in the office. Kick the shit out of my shit. He come down and scraped it. That's where I picked him up, put him on top of the desk. So, I don't get it. 
Like, why not just have the teachers confront him about it? Am I wrong? Like, the teachers smelled... So all this started was teachers thought they smelled something, called the cops. Like, and then this happened. Like, I... I like, no. just confront the kid. Like, you're the teachers. Just be like, hey, I smell <laughs> something on you. Like, I don't, that's just weird. Like, I feel, I feel like in most situations, teachers should just confront the child about it. And then if shit gets out of hand, then he can call the cops. You know what I mean? I don't know. But that, that's how I see the situation. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's technically a crime. Yes. But they are also students at a school. Well, I could smell it when there was the altercation in the hallway. That really wasn't an altercation. After a more thorough Dude, search, she's so pissed off that they didn't find weed. The officer's disbelief forced them to find a reason for the kid's behavior. Oh my God! That's it. They smell like marijuana. Yes, because it's and reeking. We were just gonna search him. That was it. And he would not. And he, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'm going to the bathroom. I'm going to the bathroom. And it was because he was going to dump the cigars. I mean, unless he got it under his junk. Yes. It was over nothing. Like, I'm like, calm the fuck down. He's trying like, not just, to. Just come in with yes. me, please. That's all I want you to do. Yes. And then he started to, like he was going to go run to the bathroom. And I grabbed him. He's scared. You try. He's scared. You tried real hard. DeMarco's was charged with resisting arrest, but this was later dismissed in juvenile court. Okay, good. Unsurprisingly, his family requested compensatory and punitive damages not to exceed $1 million. Yep. The case is still ongoing with the family expecting favorable outcomes, but Anthony had no such expect. Yeah, 100%. They should, they should win that lawsuit. I mean, just straight up, they should win that lawsuit. I don't care if they smelled weed or not. Like, they definitely should have been after soon. crashing a school bus into a house. Is anybody in the bus? Yes. Yeah. Uh, no, there's a man that was okay. got confused. He tried to start. Any kids in the bus? Didn't see any kids Check in the bus. Check on it. I need to see if anybody's in the house for me. He's, 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 he keeps trying to start the fucking bus. Can you get in it at all? Central. It's not the FD. It might be uh, trapping. Yeah, see if you can get that open. Oh, my. What the fuck? Three teams, they're in her house. I think he's okay. Buddy! Oh, oh my god. Yo, you alright, man? Yeah, I got the back over. Alright. We got one minivan into a pole. Magic area. school bus. Got a school bus into a pole. Get me in. If smelling weed was a crime, everyone in my neighborhood would be arrested. Dude, like, just weed crimes in general have always just pissed me off. Like, I mean, it's, it's, you know, definitely legal in most of America now, but shit, dude. Back then, it always pissed me off because there, there were literally people that I, like, that I knew about who had to go to prison for having, like, a small stash of weed. It's fucking insane. Like, there's people who go to, like, who, uh, like, get out of, or don't have to go to prison for way higher shit. And then people just have a little bit of weed and they're locked up for it? Like, that's fucking crazy. It's insane. I, I, it just blows my mind sometimes that like something like five or six years ago, which would have been a horrible crime, which would have like got you Asking so many prison. Bugging me, pig. How would you stop the first kid from kicking or grabbing something heavier to throw L? Kids be slippery. He could have slipped away from someone holding him. Bear hug. You grab the kid. That's it. Like, you just grab the kid. You are a full-grown adult who is trained in dealing with people. I think you could just hold down a kid. Like, just grab him. That's it. That's all you gotta do. You, you want to know what else is slippery? Adults. Adults are slippery too. You know? But they have to get handcuffed. Children? Nah. As a dad. As a dad who has a seven-year-old son? 
if I can't, if I cannot stop my son from like going on a rampage and throwing shit and kicking stuff, that's embarrassing. If I don't have the physical capabilities to stop my son from doing something like that, that's pathetic. And if a cop can't do it, that is insanely pathetic. I'm sorry. It, that's that's my opinion on that. That's just pathetic. How would Vegeta do it? He punch him in the gut. <laughs> sorry. I am a super saiyan. And just psh, gut punch. Get off the bus for me. Stop crying, yeah, child. Oh. Buddy, look at me. Look at me. Yeah, when he when he punches trunks. Uh, that's what it would be. I'd just do the chop to the back of his neck. Get, give him a hug. I love you, son. <laughs> Why would you do that? Please don't see, all right? Buddy, you all right? Can God, you look I, at me? I got to turn this down. Oh, my God, that hurts. <laughs> look at me. Nah, negative, just the driver. Uh, yeah, for now. Can I? Look at me. This guy knows he f he's fucked. I think that's why he's crying more than anything. Are you okay? Are you okay? Man's going through it, yeah. Look, look, look. What's your name? What is your name, buddy? We gotta get you off this bus, okay? Can you follow me off the bus? Can you follow me off the bus? Yes. Right. Suicide attempt? Nah. We're gonna go off the back of the bus. We gotta get off the bus, alright? Okay. <laughs> I don't know about that. Bro might just be drunk or something. I'll make sure Ezra gets Trunks hairline. Yeah, so I can talk to him like that. <laughs> Thank God no kids are in there. Yeah. Driver's coming out now. One, two, I'm just gonna trouble check. It's empty. The driver was now out of the vehicle, and the officer confirmed that there were no kids in the vehicle. The road was a wide distance from the house, so the officers needed to know how exactly the accident occurred. Yeah, that's crazy. What happened, Anthony? I was trying to avoid something on the road, and it just went. Everything just went. It just went the other way. What's that? I was trying to avoid something on the road, and everything just—it—it it just happened so fast. Okay, what were you trying to avoid? I don't know. It was something. I don't, I don't know what it was. Uh, I don't know. It was something on the road. Just something on the road. I—I I, I, hold on. Leave your phone. Leave your phone for a minute. We gotta. I, I want to make sure you're okay. All right. I am okay. I gotta okay. call. I gotta. Just, I gotta call my. Okay. You don't have to wife. call anybody right now. Just leave this here for wife. me right now. Okay. I gotta call my wife. All right. So what was in the roadway? I gotta call my wife. I gotta call. My, I gotta he knows he's I think that's what's happening. Okay. Anthony, can you tell me what was in the roadway? Sit up for me. Sit up for me. Anthony, sit up for me, buddy. Yeah, I think that's what's what happened. What was in the roadway? <laughs> there were no kids on the bus at the time, right? I didn't see anybody on the bus when I, you know, when I was in there. But all right. So what? What was in the roadway? Was it? I mean, did a car swerve in front of you, or? <laughs> Seven six six. <laughs> Did you reach out to the homeowner? With a refusal to mention what he was trying to avoid, Anthony was losing credibility with the officers, especially considering that there was an odor of alcohol from him. Yep. I got, a, I got some odor, but we'll check it. not a ton yet. I definitely got some some sort of odor, though. There it is. Um, Do you see anything in the bus up there? I, no, I didn't. But coming home to a whole ass made bus his claims even yeah. more suspicious. Car short stopped me, and I had to swerve out the way. 
<laughs> Anthony's story suddenly shifted, and he now remembered that he was avoiding a car in front of him. Something as foundational as that isn't likely to be forgotten, but Anthony only doubled down on his statement. I've been for years with this company, and like I said, these cars, these people, they like to act like a-holes. So I guess this particular situation, this car, felt like it wanted to shortstop me. And I had to swerve out the way, and then just everything just went chaotic after that. And the bus is really not, these buses are really not usually functional how they should be. But I know how to manage these buses. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been working for the company for so long. I know how to manage the buses. And it, everything just went haywire. It, everything just happened so fast. It happened so fast. Anthony blamed his employers and the bus. And I mean, it looks like he's on a road where the speed limit's probably like 30. So I don't really understand how he couldn't just stop unless he's flying, you know? Somehow managed to praise his driving and bus management skills, even though he had driven through a house. Since there was an odor coming from him, the officers wanted to do field sobriety tests, but Anthony had several excuses for them. Uh, I understand. I understand. I understand that. I'm still shaking from this. I understand. Just do the best you can, okay? I understand the circumstances and I'll, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Yes. I've, I've never been good at one foot balances, just to let you know. Yeah, that's okay. That's not a good thing to say. That's not a good thing to say. I've never been good at this. Do you practice? I've never been good at this. So like I said, everything. I'm, I'm going to try my best. Okay. Just take your hands out your pockets for me, put your arms to your sides like that. After laying them all out, Anthony began the tests, but the results weren't very surprising. Uh-oh. 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 Just count out. Uh-oh. 1,001, 1,001. I think he's doing good, guys. Come on. I think he's doing all right. All right. Turn around for me. He's doing all right. Turn around. Chad's way back. You're being arrested for drug while intoxicated, okay? You understand that? Okay. We're okay. Do, we'll do we'll do breath tests, okay? Do I smell the alcohol on you? Your tests weren't that great, and uh, and your eyes were even worse. My eyes have always been like this. Okay. My eyes have always been like this. You asked me if I'd ever ever known. My eyes always been like this. Do you have anything? Anthony later took a breathalyzer test, which showed a 0.04% blood alcohol level. Oh! He faces multiple charges, including driving while intoxicated. Wait, in isn't that that's under the, under the legal limit? 0.04, right? Or, I mean, what does that... Wait, I'm confused. Do you still get... Do you still get uh, a ticket for that shit? Even if it's under... Oh, it's DWI versus DUI? Is that what it is? Well, yeah, obviously when driving kids... Yeah, I'm not saying that. No, I'm just... I, I don't know. All I know is that .08 is the legal limit. I don't know what you get underneath that is what I'm asking, all right? Obviously, he's driving a fucking bus, but still. Why is... Yeah, I know. I'm surprised that it's .04 when he was that wonky, but I mean, to be fair, he did just get in an accident, so... And endangering the welfare of a child. If you like this video, YouTube thinks you I mean, to be fair, there was no children on the bus. I don't get the endangering the welfare of a child when there's no children on it. But still, regardless, like, I don't know. DWI into the legal limit, but impaired DUI over the limit. Makes sense. Oh, in the house? Oh, okay. Was it endangering children? Endangering the welfare of children. Of H. All right, never mind. Of a child. All right, so maybe there was a child in the house. I thought they were saying, okay, never mind. Bring the welfare of a child. If you like this video, YouTube thinks you'll like these next videos even more.
Now it's time to walk away. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Did you laugh or cry or maybe subscribed? I'll thank you either way. You know I will miss you. I hope you return. Tell your friend or your mother to get me more views, please.